What's going on guys, Gizmodict here and this is the Asus T100H 2-in-1 laptop. The T100H is basically a tablet that is running a full-fledged desktop version of the Microsoft Windows 10. It also comes with a detachable keyboard and it is priced quite well for the amount of performance that it offers. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight on into the review. In terms of build quality, the T100 is built quite well. You do get an anodized aluminum finish all around the tablet which makes it very smooth to hold. Since the tablet is a standalone device, all of the components powering the T100 are inside it and the keyboard is just an accessory for it. The T100 weighs around 580 grams and the combined weight with the keyboard is just a little over 1 kilograms which is a very good thing for a full-fledged Windows laptop. The tablet also has a power button on the top left and the volume rocker is on the left hand side. In terms of input and output, the T100 sports a USB Type-C port which is a new thing to have in a budget laptop. It also has a micro SD card slot, a micro HDMI slot, micro USB port and a 3.5mm headphone jack. There is no basic USB port on the tablet but the keyboard does support a USB 2.0 port which comes in quite handy. Talking about that keyboard, as I said earlier, it is a detachable one and attaching and detaching it to the tablet is a very easy task. The magnetic connector holds the tablet perfectly in place and the hinge is also well made, so you don't realize that you're working with a 2-in-1 and not a true laptop. However, since most of the weight is in the tablet, you can easily topple it when using it on your lap. The keyboard of the T100 is just okay. Once you start using the keyboard, you do realize that this is a budget laptop because the keys have a quite mushy feel and the keyboard also has a good amount of flex. The key travel is also very less and while you can get your work done with it, you are definitely going to miss a proper keyboard. The trackpad is also not that great. It does support all the gestures and it is quite smooth to use for the most part but sometimes I just found it to be very less responsive. The good part about this tablet though is that you don't necessarily have to use the trackpad because you can just scroll or zoom in using your finger. The T100 is also available in 4 color options and the tin grey variant that I have reminds me a lot of the space grey macbook. Jumping to the performance side of things, the T100 is powered by the Intel Cherry Trail quad core CPU which comes with 2 or 4 GB of RAM. My variant of the T100 has 64GB of storage and it also has 2GB of RAM. Before using this tablet, I wasn't expecting much performance out of it but I was actually quite surprised by how well it performs. The benchmark scores were decent and I had no problems in using this laptop for browsing and general work. I did not multitask much here because I only had 2GB of RAM but things like playing 4K video on YouTube do work on this without any issues. I even loaded up a few games from the Windows Store like Modern Combat 5 and Asphalt 8 and I also installed a copy of the original Counter Strike. Everything works great as you can see and actually the T100 can be a good device to play all those old classic games. And here comes the best part, since the T100 has 64-bit Windows 10, I wanted to see whether it can edit 1080p videos or not. So I loaded up Adobe Premiere Pro. And I found out that the T100 absolutely has no problems in editing basic 1080p videos. Keeping the preview window at full resolution gives you some minor lags but once you switch it to half resolution, everything works very smoothly. You can't edit 4K videos or do color correction but for basic 1080p edits, this is going to do just fine. The CPU did heat up under heavy load but only a small part of the tablet around the camera got warm. Also, the best part about this CPU is that it only consumes 2 watts of power. So the T100 does perform very well for its price. But if you can get the 4GB variant, you should get that because Windows 10 is a very finicky operating system and you don't know which Windows service is going to start running in the background and consume a good amount of RAM. I also did see minor lags while typing with the keyboard quite frequently so I would say that if you're buying this, go with the 4GB variant. The display of the T100 is a 10.1 inch 1280x800 display which as you can think is quite low by today's standards. 
you do see pixels when you're using it in the tablet mode but once you're using it in the laptop mode it does get quite better because the distance from your eyes and the screen has increased considering that most of the laptops in the budget price range still come with a 1366 by 768 display on 14 to 15 inch panels the 1280 by 800 resolution is very acceptable the display also has very good viewing angles and the color reproduction is also awesome it is very reflective though and asus could have made the screen a tad more brighter but considering the price the display is good the speakers although are disappointing and you're better off using a bluetooth speaker or a good set of headphones this was the first time i was using windows 10 as a tablet operating system and the experience for the most part was great windows 10 is still a little buggy operating system and things like windows defender keep using the ram in the background which is quite critical for a low-end device like this microsoft has to work on these little annoyances with windows 10 but the fact that they're bringing the full desktop operating system to such low-end tablets is quite great. The battery life of the T100 is also very good. Asus claims around 12 hours of use on a single charge and I have no doubts in that. The CPU used is also very efficient and the 720p display also helps in cutting down the battery usage. Also, in case you haven't noticed it by now, the T100 also has a back camera which is quite disappointing. So even Asus thinks that you should not be that guy who keeps clicking photos with a tablet. The front camera does support 720p video and it is decent enough for video calling. Maybe Apple can learn a lesson from Asus and start offering a 720p video camera on the new MacBook instead of the 480p one that they have. So overall I'm quite impressed with the Asus T100. It might not replace your main computer but it is a great choice for a secondary device. With a price tag of under $400, the performance and the features of this 2-in-1 laptop are great and if you are thinking of picking one up, you can't go wrong with it. It is a perfect choice for users with a light usage and it is a good alternative to all of those Chromebooks out there. So this concludes my full review of the Asus T100 Transformer Book. If you have any questions about it then please let me know in the comments. Please like the video if you liked it and do subscribe for more laptop reviews. You can also follow me on my social media pages. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.